Welcome back to the Goose Juice channel. Please relax, take a seat. Please relax. Seriously, sit down. Shut up! We're talking AI, artificial intelligence, baby. No, no. Absolutely not that one. I always end up crying at the end of that film. Hell, considering the subject matter of today, I might still end up crying. <laughs> TLC or TLC Plus, a Chinese company best known for making budget electronics, the likes of TVs, phones, toasters, butt plugs, dildos, and the like. You're lying! Well, they're now venturing into making films. <laughs> Sounds promising. AI is becoming a lot more prominent especially with the rise of its many uses. Obviously, AI has been around for a while, but now it's had a significant boom since Sora and being able to essentially make and generate your own images, anything, really. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? How? Hold on, bro. How? How you, I'm saying, how, like, talk to me, bro. Ooh. Brother, ooh. What's that? What's that, brother? And Hollywood, Hollywood's been watching. Oh. Want. Oh, they've been dabbling, all right. I'm sure many of you might have seen the show, or if not clips of the show, called Prom Packs from Disney, where they filled in crowds of a basketball game with AI generated uh, people. Today. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! What is that? You know, that was very convincing. They basically removed any necessity for having as many extras as they really should do under the guise of innovation, but we'll get to that later on. We all got to that line and crossed it. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's pretty crazy if you actually have seen the scene where you think, hmm, uh, save money and add cartoons, uh, get rid of the immersion, or hire a few more extras. Hire like 10 more extras just to be in those scenes. Just so you would save yourself the embarrassment of having to use PS2 graphics. But what I will say, at the very least, we all are quite aware that studios are jumping on to AI because it will inherently save them a lot of money. What I really want to talk about is TCL or TCL Plus. Remember them? Well, they're just spearheading forward into the 25th century and are making a full-on AI-generated TV series. It's called Next Stop Paris. What could go wrong? <coughs> the plot of Next Stop Paris goes as such. It sees a young woman going on her honeymoon to Paris alone after her fiancé ran off with someone in their wedding party. She meets a stranger on the train and the pair explore the French capital together. Look, we've done a whole lot of preamble. I say we just jump into the trailer, see what the hell is going on. So, Claire, what's your stop? We are in trouble. We have an extremely compressed image of a, of a woman oh, on no. screen. Hey man, if it's not ready, don't take it out of the oven. <sighs> the city of lights. I'm hoping it's a new start. I don't think we have to pray for long. Maybe you're the dark, mysterious kind of man who- This trailer reminds me of those really random videos that would pop up on your YouTube feed, like Harry Potter if he was in Balenciaga. There is no good and evil. There is only Balenciaga. And those too weak to seek it. Avada Balenciaga. Like, just, it's, I don't know. This just, I mean, I thought that guy was an AI version of Tom Cruise from Collateral. Who never shows his vulnerability. Got a feeling that the way it is over. Maybe you're the kind of woman who's never sure of what you want. Even if it's right in front of you. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Darling, this is what you make it. In life's journey. Quite a lot of They're just moving stills! They're just moving stills. An AI-powered love story. You can do some of this shit on CapCut. It's so wonky as well. Sometimes the heart moves too fast. Del, wait, don't go. But if you time it just right, that's when love arrives. Claire. I thought you gave up on me. I'm not going to let you go. I thought you, I thought you gave up on me. 
That is a crazy thing to do an entire series on. It's like a really shitty video game cutscene. <laughs> That's insane. Why would you even bother? What is the point of that? I don't know who's going to be locked in for that. But in all fairness, I, I don't I don't know how angry I can be at TCL for even wanting to do this. Now, relax, hear me out. We can't honestly expect production companies, studios, any conglomerates to really care about anything outside of the bottom line. Yo, creativity! Oh, we want to make the best product! If they could have a video of a monkey banging cymbals for 24 hours straight, as long as people would watch it, and they would get the revenue that they wanted to get, they would not give a flying quack about creativity it's like blaming a tiger for having stripes or blaming a dog for not being a vegetarian here's a uh, vegetarian who's been uh, training her dog to be a vegetarian some of you just don't believe that my dog's a vegetarian we have this really gross beef like dog food here pick one if it's going to save studios money doing AI generated bullshit, they absolutely will do it. Even if ironically it costs them. It's cutting your nose off to spite your face. But my God, have we taken a very terrible, scary, dangerous step into the uncanny valley. And honestly, even if all the episodes were to be released, which would be very surprising, this thing doesn't have any soul. Aside from people tweaking the voice acting, some of the artistry here and there, maybe the writing. I mean, the writing. It's just imitated humanity, isn't it? Which is ironic because we're humans. We can do this better. Going back to the, the writing, it, even the story seems like it's AI generated. The greater issue that I'm personally having with all this AI nonsense is it's a catalyst for getting rid of actors eventually. If AI gets to the point where it doesn't look like absolute dog muck, actors are gonna find it very difficult to navigate their way through this matrix, I guess. It's already difficult as it is, you know, considering that only 2% of actors can actually make a living off acting alone. God knows that Nepo babies are not helping. I'm sorry, whether you're talented or not, you're just not helping, dude. You never earned it. You were born into it. And then you have walking fleshlights like Tyler Perry oh. putting a stop to his $800 million studio or whatever, regardless of the quality of his movies. I don't, I don't like this. I don't, I don't, I don't like this. At least he was employing human beings. But since the rise and potential of Sora, he's completely put a kibosh on having people actually work there. Georgia's film industry is booming, but now one area filmmaker, an actor, is putting his $800 million expansion plans on hold. Tyler Perry tells The Hollywood Reporter that he is pressing pause because of the rapid rise of artificial intelligence. And then you got Ashton Kutcher, who used to be an actor, but now feels like he's f***ing above it. There's plenty more examples of people talking about them innovating rather than thinking about whether they should. And I'm the first person ever to, to say something like that. The last person that I would like to blame is you. What did I do? You, the viewer, the consumer. As consumers, we give our opinions with our wallets, the things that we choose to pay for, the, th the things that we choose to watch, and studios don't really listen to what comes out of our mouths, they just see things on charts. Because we live in a bit of a strange time of negativity where we would much rather watch something that we know objectively is going to be horrendous rather than making the extra effort to go and see something that we actually probably will enjoy and have a better time with. All the things that I just spoke about are kind of how we end up getting shit like this. What am I talking about? Well, we got a second season of Velma, didn't we? And we adore Mad Max Fury Road, but the sequel prequel Furiosa comes out and nobody sees it? <laughs> What's going on? What's happening? I don't understand. But I will be watching this, so uh, make sure you stick around for that. It's gonna be a uh, hoot for you guys to watch me have a mental breakdown watching stills and compressed images not move on my screen i'm sure i'll love it am i gonna watch it legally legally what did i just say anyway that's all i've got for now guys stay tuned i will be watching this like i said uh like and subscribe support the arts not the farts i'll see you real soon